Hello, and welcome to the Walking Textbook YouTube channel. Today, it's story time, so let's get started. This story is called, How Do Antibiotics Actually Work? To start off, there are two types of bacteria. There's gram-negative, and there's gram-positive. So, in gram-positive bacteria, the cell wall is composed of two main parts, peptidic lichen and the plasma membrane. However, there is a space between these two membranes called the intermembrane space, but that doesn't really matter right now. What we really want to focus on is peptidic lichen, which is a membrane composed of sugars and protein. However, gram-negative bacteria has a third layer which sets it apart from the gram-positive bacteria when interacting with antibiotics. This outer layer is called the lipopolysaccharide membrane. But we'll worry about that later. For now, we're going to jump into the gram-positive bacteria and take a closer look. Furthermore, when doing a gram stain, gram-negative bacteria turns pink and gram-positive turns purple. So, in order for a bacteria to successfully infect its host, it must reproduce. The bacteria does this by growing so large, it's able to split itself into two identical cells. Those identical cells will then undergo the same process that the parent cell went through, which ultimately results in exponential growth of the bacteria. This is similar to budding in yeast, however, in this bacteria that we're talking about, the peptidic lichen cell wall is split directly down the middle. This process is called binary fission and occurs in most bacteria. Now let's take a closer look at gram-positive bacteria. The layer of peptidic glycan in gram-positive bacteria is very thick, especially when compared to gram-negative bacteria. Ultimately, this results in gram-positive bacteria being quite vulnerable to antibiotics, as antibiotics inhibit or restrict the growth and synthesis of peptidic glycan, which makes up the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria. Overall, the gram-positive bacteria plus the antibiotics equals a damaged bacterial cell wall. So when the bacteria tries to grow or reproduce, it will break apart and die. Which means you're feeling funky fresh. <laughs> but there is one problem. Those antibiotics that you took to make yourself feel better and kill the bad bacteria are also killing the good bacteria which break down the food in your intestines. This may lead to abdominal discomfort and some indigestion. However, it's not a big deal. Just eat your vegetables. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Walking Textbook. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more weekly videos posted every Thursday. Next week, we'll be talking about gram-negative bacteria and antibiotic resistance. So have a great day, and remember, if you learn something new every day, it's a day well spent. I'll see you next week.